Riding high on the success of Final Fantasy VII in the late 90s, Square released a pair of PlayStation spin-offs, starring one of the few reoccurring characters in the series, the ostrich-like Chocobo. Chocobo Mystery Dungeon and its sequel were designed around the same basic structure as other Mystery Dungeon titles, which have hosted characters from several RPG series such as Pokemon and Dragon Quest. In December of 2007, a decade after its solo debut, the feathery yellow hero was ready to return in Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, The Labyrinth of Lost Time for the Wii. The story begins as Chocobo crosses the desert with a treasure hunter and reoccurring Final Fantasy character named Sid. They climb an ancient tower only to be confronted by mysterious competitors who arrived just moments earlier. But before this showdown can be resolved, a strange vortex rips through the tower, landing Chocobo and Sid in the city of Forgotten Time. <laughs> Homeless, the pair is taken in by a white mage named Shiroma and her aunt Stella. Chocobo accompanies Shiroma to the town square just in time to witness a meteor falling to Earth. Upon landing, however, the object turns out to be an egg, which quickly hatches to reveal a green-haired baby boy. Shiroma names the child Raphael and accepts the responsibility of caring for him. As can be assumed of a child falling from the heavens, Raphael is no ordinary boy. When he comes into contact with certain people, he opens gateways to their minds, allowing Chocobo to enter and recover that person's lost memories. These mental pathways are actually the game's dungeons, filled with enemies, traps, items, and bosses. Each level is randomly generated, with rearranging pathways, staircases, and items every time you enter. Along the way, you'll pick up standard equipment, such as potions to heal, claws to increase attack power, and saddles to boost defense. Enemies move in an active, turn-based fashion, making a move for every step you take. Once the enemy is engaged, you can perform standard attacks with the press of a button or head into the menu to use special skills or items. Later in the game, a job system comes into play, allowing your chocobo to change classes and learn new abilities. Most jobs are classic Final Fantasy standbys, such as mages, knights, and thieves, but there are new classes, such as the jester. In addition to giving you access to a variety of skills, the job system outfits your character in costumes that turn him from adorable to irresistible. Who would dare defy a chocobo dressed in the Black Mage's signature broad-rimmed hat? From the job classes to returning characters like Shiroma in Dungeon Hero X, there's a lot of fan service packed into Chocobo's dungeon. The clearest example is the game's soundtrack, which is packed with remixed tunes from a number of Final Fantasy games. While Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon has been on Japanese shelves since mid-December, there still hasn't been any word on a US release. To get through the Japanese version, you'll need a Japanese Wii and working knowledge of the language to navigate menus and identify spells and items. So it's not the best candidate for prospective importers, but with the Wii's popularity and the dearth of RPGs available for the system, a US release isn't entirely out of question. So stay tuned for any updates from the Square Enix camp.